Assassin's Creed Liberation HD is rated M by the ESRB for instances of intense violence, blood, suggestive themes, language, and crude humor. For these reasons, viewer discretion is advised. Howdy, folks. How are y'all doing? Cubby here, and welcome back to Surge Period of the Year. And uh, last episode ended off kind of suddenly. I know that's because I actually kept playing, but my hard drive ran out of space to record, and it didn't tell me. And then I looked up, and I was like, whoa, snap, it's not recording. Oh, no, did I not record any of that? And then I was like, no, I did. It just stopped. So, I restarted the mission, and I think this is about where it stopped recording. So we're gonna go back in there. I didn't get too far ahead. I freaked out about how these look like matches, but I think that was in the video, so it's not that big a deal. So let's move forward, and hopefully, I'll be able to sync all this up and post. And, <laughs> and uh, I started recording at the right point. I don't. Uh, it was it was epically failureish. Right? Yeah. See, I remember this. See. I remember thinking I was recording this, but I really wasn't. And I remember when I thought I was recording this, I was freaking out. Because all she did was throw a rock at their face, and all of them chased her. And I was just thinking, there's probably better ways of doing this, and that wasn't really the best plan. But whatever! Right, and then this guy. This guy only has one arm, right? And I really want to know what's up with that one arm. But no one will tell me. And right about here, I think, is the point where I looked up and realized, Oh my gosh, it's not recording? Yeah, yeah, right after this happened, and I was like, whoa, snap! And then I was like, I looked up. For some reason, I just thought, oh, that's cool. I should make sure I got that. I it can't, and then I realized I didn't. So here we are. We're in the fight. Maybe now we'll find out why this guy only has one arm. I remember the day that Kawada got Survive until the poison wears off. Well, that'll be easy. Can we kill him? Nope. Come on! Stop your monologuing and fight me. If you're going to monologue, can you monologue about your missing arm? Like, were you born that way? Was it, so was it like, lost in battle? Did it get eaten by an alligator? <laughs> that would be so legit if your arm got eaten off by an alligator. Who are you really? The true Macandal burned at the stake. Yes, and he had two arms. Or did he? Maybe the real Macandal only had one arm, so you chopped off your arm to match. If, if so, that's, that's pretty sad, buddy. That is pretty sad. I mean, that's devotion, though. It's devotion to the cause. But he failed. This is listen. She I betrayed us, and he died. Look, I the, won't make that mistake before I carry out his life's destiny. Look, I just I well, none of that told me any of the information I wanted. Oh, oh, and we're fighting now. Okay, we're fighting. We're we're in combat. Hot diggity. Where's the one-armed man? I need to talk to the one-armed man about his missing arm. I mean, it is of. Ow, jeez. Look at how these other guys just kind of stand by and watch as I like slew slay their friend. Ow. Whoa, I'm almost dead! Enemies with axes are vulnerable to disarm. Well, no duh. Yay, we got one dead! Yay, look at that! We're doing good! Oh, ow. Okay, well that was a bit painful. Okay, we... Okay, well... Well, that didn't go the way I had hoped. I mean, this is going remarkably better than the last one. I mean, if I don't... Yes! Oh, I was on the last leg of my... Oh no, that wasn't all of them. Hold on, let's just... I gotta, I gotta regen some health. Do you wanna play a little game? Let's play Ring Around the Dead Guy. Ring Around the Dead Guy. Suffering from Pink Eye. Eye drops, eye drops, he's all well now. Die! Okay, no. Okay, well that didn't go quite the way I'd hoped. Okay, come on, buddy. There we go, okay, disarm. And then slice him to the face. Or, you know, every other part of the body except for the face till he's dead! Now it's me and you, Mr. One-Armed Man! Can you monologue a bit about, like, why you're missing an arm? Like, seriously, I'm really interested in this topic. I take care of you myself. The ceremony will go on. You cannot stop it. I am the guy in real life that if you're missing a limb, you're gonna see me staring at you. And it's not that I'm being rude or anything. Like, don't ever feel like I'm being rude. It's just I'm really curious. I'm trying to picture in my mind, okay, judging by, you know, the look of this guy. Because you can judge a book by its cover. Never think that you can. I mean, not always, but usually you can. And so, you know, look at a guy thinking, all right, what? Whoa, he died easy. But yeah, if, I, if, you're ever, if you're missing a limb and I'm staring at you, it's because I'm trying to imagine how you lost it. And maybe you were just born that way. My you know, Lord that's, it's, it's unfortunate, but you know what happens. I've got a cousin who was born without an arm, and I actually know a guy. Uh, I go to church with him who has no arms. 
and he's a singer, and he's fabulous. We've gotten off on a really weird tangent here. I just like to imagine how things happen to people. Scars, too. I like to figure out how people got scars. Like, if you got a big old scar on your face, I I'm sure I make people uncomfortable, like, in crowds. Uh, I also tend to point, like, which you're not supposed to do, because that's rude. But, you know, group of people, grab someone by the shoulder, point across the room. What do you think happened to that guy's face? And, of course, everyone goes red, and their heads go down. They're like, that's so rude, you can't say that. And I'm like, but I want to know what happened to his face. That's just who I am. I, I'm sorry. Um, what happens now? Here is something they did not want you to know. What? Citizen E is your near. Use eagle. Who's Citizen E? I what was up? Help you uncover the truth. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, there's Citizen E. I don't know what this means, but we're gonna go kill him. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Here is my special erudito cut. Erudito. Who's erudito? What do you? What is going on here? Oh. What? <laughs> what? Well, okay. Well, that was weird. Running animus recovery mode. Abstergo thinks that it can stick to entertainment. On the, oh, good grief. I hope they're wrong, so I have hacked the truth back in, but you're going to have to work for it. Citizen E can be anywhere. When you see one, chase it down. The truth will come out and edit. Ah! If I have, have time, I will leave you some other clues, too. Look for them. Erudito. Who's Erudito? What is happening? Epsilon! No, wait. No, that only happens in Minecraft. Right? Wait, we already did this. Is it just repeating the mission? The nobles of New Orleans shall perish by poison, and the slaves shall be avenged. My mentor's work will be complete. And control of the river will fall to those who know what to do with it. Then Wait I will a second. be inducted into the Templar order. As agreed, if you make good on your word. Fear Hold not, on a senor. second. So this is the same by scene, but with slightly different dialogue. Was Baptiste. Just remember where your loyalties lie. I shall not fail you. See that you don't. That's weird. Oh, and hey, that was the guy with the coal on his face. Not this one, the other one with the funny looking beard. Where it looks like you like he has like patches in his mustache and tried to fill it in with coal. We talked about this a couple episodes ago. I don't know if you guys remember that. Okay, well that's done. I g so I don't have to replay it? That was weird. Oh, it's this guy. Agate, I have done as you asked. Hey, we're back the here. Imposter is dead. And I'm back in my assassin gear. Hmm. What else have you learned? I mean, that's not too out of the ordinary. That he would have forced you out of hiding. Let us be thankful it did not come to that. If it had our brotherhood, well, let us not dwell. You have destroyed the hornet's nest in the bayou. At least for now. De Ferrer will have his day. Cool. Was that the end of sequence two? Or how did I get back in my outfit? I'm confused. That whole, I mean, I've been confused, I'll be honest with you, ever since the hard drive crashed. Or not crashed, it got full of, of data is what happened. Um, and we're back, we're back in this outfit again. This makes no sense! Hello? Oh! Okay, I guess we're, yeah, we're starting a new sequence. New Orleans, three years pass, the French colony is trans transferred to Spanish rule. Uh, business prospers until something, I didn't catch it. Uh, and we're a lady now. We have now changed outfits three times in, what, one minute? I mean, if that's not sexist, I don't know what is. Oh my gosh! Viewpoint! Heck <laughs> to the yes, let's go sink that. Okay, so I immediately just tried to climb up that door. And then I realized I can't climb up that door as a lady. What's through here, though? What is this? What's on the other side of this door? What Does this have something to do with my mission? Oh. Oh, hi there. Hello. Not very talkative. Oh, I can pickpocket him now. He looks like an honest dude. Just sweeping some floors. We're not going to steal his money. Oh, can I get to the viewpoint from inside this building? Is that what's going on here? It have, has Ubisoft smiled down on me and give me a way to access the... No? What is going on? Oh. Can I change back here? 
Don't look, I'm not decent. Oh, I'm, I was kind of hoping the camera would stay on the other side of the screen. No, okay. That didn't work out. All right, well, it's been nice visiting y'all, but I'm going to go now because this is boring. Let's go find something else to do. Uh, perhaps over by that exclamation mark on the screen. Hello! How are you doing today? Yes, I would like to speak with you, Captain, <laughs> my captain. Bonsoir. Hello? I'm a friend of Captain Dominguez. Is he on board? <laughs> at this hour, El Capitan is at the tavern. Where else? Thank you. What is the hour? I don't have a, I don't have a watch. I had the opportunity to buy one earlier, but I thought, why? And now I kind of wish I had one. Then I would know what time of the, time of the day is a good time to go to the, uh, oh, we got to go question him at the tavern. It's tavern time. How you doing? What's up, man? Uh, where is the tavern? Where are you people going? Why are you all going that direction? Is there like something I need to avoid over here? Where, what, what's happening? This looks like it could be a tavern. Oh, no. Target located right here. Ah, is he drunk? Because he looks like... Yep. Yeah, he didn't last in the tavern too long. It's the only thing I am. I am Carlos Capitan, Dominguez. We meet again. Do we? All three of you look familiar. Have I met this guy before? In this game? I'm only, what, four episodes in and I don't even remember this guy? That's not a good sign. That's a bad sign. It might be the caffeine. What a dirty old man. What do you know about Rafael Joaquin de Ferrer? I'm afraid he's not Are we going to trust any information we get from a drunk man? What's your business with him? He pays for transport to and from New Orleans. That's all I do. Transport the things and get paid. Things, paid. Transport, paid. Back and forth and forth and back. What is he doing? Why New Orleans? <laughs> I do not know. Senor de Ferrer. He's a very secretive man. Thank you for your time, Capitan. <laughs> I like that pronunciation. Capitan. El Capitan. If I was ever a captain, I think I would demand to be called El Capitan. And you'd have to do it. Because I'm the captain. You have no choice. And you would have to sing to me every morning, Captain, my captain. It's like a, it's like a, I think it's like a poem. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, how do you sing a poem? Well, you basically read the poem, but you do it lyrically, and you do it well, or I will have you tossed off the plank. Not not walking the plank, I will have you physically forced off the plank. You don't even have the honor of throwing yourself off. We're just gonna toss you off, like a bunch of, like, sewage. Like, you know, rough night at sea, I threw up in the little bucket that they have for, like, poo and stuff, and then we toss it overboard, we're gonna do the same thing to you. I'm saying you're basically poo and vomit. You're like, palm it. Ew, gross. Pomet. That's just disgusting. I don't know where that came from. Uh, it's probably the caffeine. We're going to blame it on the caffeine. We're going to head upstairs here and do something. I wasn't paying attention Lovely. again. Oh, hey, I know this guy's dead. About as always. But home to rest now, Papa. Monsieur Blanc tells me you do a great service to my business. To our business. For it will be your husband someday. Oh, Papa. You know I should sooner mind my own business than marry. As stubborn as your mother, Jeanne. If only she could see you now. But she can't. No. But perhaps you are old enough now. Oh? It is not much. One page. But it is from her diary. You should have it. Mm -hmm. Wait, is this my room? Has this been in my room this whole time? Have I never bothered to check in that chest in my room? Or is this his room? I'm so confused. Hughes. I, I did take the... Oh, I haven't taken the diary page. Can I read it? I mean, I don't really care to read a woman's diary. This is... I mean, I just... Oh, at the pub. Saint. Cool, I guess. I don't know. No. Well, that was convenient. It was right downstairs. Whoa. <laughs> what was up with that sound effect? Do I always go... When I sit down to play piano? Papa, you surprised me. I dared not interrupt. Your music is breathtaking. I dare say you could stop a man's heart. 
You flatter me too much. Oh, she Papa. can. You wouldn't believe it. The credit belongs to my teacher. I am but an instrument of his will. How blessed we are with a daughter who uses her talents in peace, not to riot in the streets of New Orleans. There is so much unrest since the arrival of the Spanish. Well, I don't want to keep you from your practice. I simply came with a message from Monsieur Blanc. At your leisure, he requests your assistance at the warehouse. Do take care when you go. The streets are not safe for a lady. I'm not a lady, Daddy. No I'm an assassin. That. I will try to restrain myself. I know your charm and grace will protect you like armor. Or the armor. Because I have some. It's upstairs. Actually, it's down the road in my personal changing closet that no one's found yet. We're not going to question that. We're just going to accept it. So I'm off to investigate the commotion. Which sounds like fun. It sounds like there's going to be some sort of uh, something going down. And I like it when things go down. Because it's thrilling. It's exciting. Looks like there might be a riot. Uh-huh. We will beat you all over the head with our baguettes. Uh-huh. Go back to your swamps. You know who's going to be offended by that? How many more will disappear? It's not going to be Frenchmen. Get back. It's going to be like what a bunch of young, mush-headed Americans. Because they're the most easily offended people in the world. Which is kind of what makes YouTube fun. Oh, wait. Who am I supposed to be? Oh, I'm helping these guys by beating up these guys. I thought I couldn't fight as a lady, but good grief. I mean, I'm pretty much pwning in face here. I, like, I wasn't even really appreciating like how much face I was pwning because I was talking about how sensitive... Enough. People are, but we're not gonna down. go into that. Don't we're gonna abuse what little power you have. All right, let me go. Now, what's this all about? People have been turning up missing, or not turning up, rather. That's why we. But you have proof the Spanish are behind it. Kidnappings have increased since they got here. Increased. That doesn't mean they're responsible easy. for now, it. It's worse. Rioting will Which means that they're not as good at preventing it. Need evidence. And how are we going to get that? I uh, look at the guys in the background are just like freaking out. They're having spastic flits all over the Oh, ooh, shouldn't have said spastic. It's really sensitive Bye. people are gonna be upset by that. Okay, let's head to the green mark. And uh, let's try not to offend anyone else. Say no more offensive things. Oh, what 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 did I do to that guy? What no really, what did I do to that guy? I haven't look at they're after me! Help me! You ladies! Ladies, help me. Nobody help me. I'm gonna... Fine, be this... I will handle this by myself. I'm doing a pretty... Pretty good job. Go up the stairs. Oh, no, they're still on my tail. Go around the corner. They're gonna catch up to me, aren't they? I don't know. I'm doing pretty well for the dress. Okay, dead end. All right, now we fight. Come at me, bro. Wow. I'm impressed. I'm actually, I'm, I mean, we just tore right through them and we're getting a good bit of money for it too. Looting dead bodies is an illegal action will increase your notoriety. Oh well. I mean, uh, they were chasing me, so whatever. The way I see it, I killed them, so I have like a right to their dead corpse goodies. That sounded weird. I should have probably phrased that differently. All right, let's head upstairs to the green mark. Uh, that's Gerald's office. Hey, this is the building we were in earlier where I couldn't oh, figure out what was up. Good day. Good day to I you. Have a, a surprise for you. Oh, yeah? What Tell me more. Think? To the unknowing eye and unassuming warehouse, but to our brotherhood, your new headquarters. Oh, I'm my. It takes his it's got a glow. In the swamp. But we thought you might prefer this for your business dealings. Yes, I, I appreciate this greatly. This is quite, this is very From classy. From this desk you can manage, or better still, expand your family's trading empire. Yes. And look at this globe. Oh, the Americas aren't quite filled out yet. They're getting there, though. South Americas seem to be complete. Um, let's see what else have we got over here. Yeah, best interpretations of uh, China, India, we got all that. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. I like globes. Globes are cool. Oh, my. Havana. Hey, hey. What do I do? Move the cursor over New Orleans and press the enter button to select it. 
Okay, while New Orleans is selected, choose the ship Jupiter by pressing the select button. It tells me, tells me to just hit... Okay, yeah, there we go. Jupiter. All right, okay, select. Buy cotton to load the ship. Okay. This cotton, select. All of it. Give, give, give us all of it, please. Okay. Boom. Okay, we bought some cotton. Use the send ship button to send the loaded ship to another port. Havana! It's gonna go straight through what looks like a hurricane. But okay. Do you want to send the ship Jupiter from New Orleans to Havana? It'll take 5 minutes and 57 seconds. So I guess it's outfitted with like rockets and a space-time bending wormhole generator. Also 10% chance of hurricane. What the heck? Why not? Sounds like fun! So have we done it? When the ship arrives at its destination, the good will be sold automatically. Press the... Okay. Yeah, I think we're done. I got the I got the idea. That's something we're definitely probably never going to come back to ever again. But it's cool. It's cool that it's there for people who like that sort of thing. No, yeah, I already checked it out later, earlier. All of your guises are kept here. Really? Wait, so I can't actually change? Oh my gosh, Narnia! Place to change your guys. Oh my god, we talked about this earlier! We talked about this earlier! Wow! Cool deal! Okay, and these are my guns. Most importantly... Your weapons and tools will be yes. kept here. <sighs> it is Give me the pistols. Liking, then. I want them all. Perfect. In that case, I will leave you a quiet moment to familiarize yourself with everything. Right, so we've got pistols. We can interact with the pistol rack. Can I can I oh the Queen Anne pistol. Where that's that that's the only pistol that I have and it is equipped. Well, that is sad. This makes me feel sad inside. What about these guys? Can't take them down. What about this stuff? Let's interact with that stuff. What have we got here? Looks like we've got our normal weapons. All we have is a cutlass. Okay, maybe we should go find like a swordsman, a swordsmaster, a blacksmith, if you will, and get some better stuff. Also, wardrobe. Man, eh, we pretty much know what to expect. Unless Narnia's in there. Is it Narnia? Aslan? No, 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 no Narnia in here. Well, it was worth a shot. Definitely worth a shot. Alrighty, now what? I mean, I've um, concocted a special instrument for you. Oh? Uh, parasol? I suppose I should thank you, but... Uh, allow me to uh, demonstrate. Please do. See? Elegant and deadly. Just like my lady. Oh, You do know me so well. Ah! Oh, right. Um, so, business. Do you recall our rival, Monsieur Boucher? I mean, if he's our rival, I shouldn't have trouble recalling him. To his old tricks again? No, he claims our coffee. That's like saying, do you remember your arch nemesis, Darth Vader? No, I forgot him. Tell me more. You remember you blew up his Death Star? Your buddy hands sent him like spiraling through space? We have enough trouble keeping no, it doesn't really ring a bell. Say no more. Oh, really? I'll see to well, he's back and he's your dad. No way! Obi-Wan told me my dad- Well, that's just from a certain point of view. Wow. So that was interesting. I wasn't- Again, I got caught up thinking of different things. I wasn't paying attention. I think this is a good place to call it. We're going to have to take a rest here in the, the office. I'm going to go. I think that the caffeine is wearing off. And here's the weird thing. When I get on a caffeine, like, buzz kill, where the, the caffeine excitement's running down, my brain stops functioning correctly, and I just start spewing random things, and I'm- I don't follow the game well. I don't think that makes for entertaining video. Personally, I don't know. But we're gonna go ahead and call it here. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you continue to enjoy The Age of Surge, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!